Every life in Daisy begins and ends the same way. The world is over, but there are still wonders to be seen. This is our survivor, Daisy. She travels the road alone. Her goal is to see the seven Daisy wonders of the world. Can she survive and travel to all seven? Thank you for joining me on this Daisy journey. Enjoy the episode. Enjoy. What is good, everybody? Back in the life of Daisy. Traveling the seven Daisy wonders of the world. And today, um, we hit a couple honorable mentions. This is the sniper nest in Novo. Tin Man and Ross were with me. Today, honorable mention, one of my favorite places is that church right there. So we're going to head up to that church. Uh, and then well, another one of my personal favorites in the game is the fairgrounds at Sverigrad. Uh, I love that place. It's fun. And so, uh, let me turn my volume up. Okay, so neither of those, I think, qualify as a seven wonders of the world. We got uh, the Prison Island, Green Mountain, the platforms at Tizzy, Sniper Nest at Novo, uh, maybe Devil's Castle or a castle or two. So what are the seven wonders of the Daisy world? If you want to weigh in on that, put them in the, in the comments and maybe Daisy will visit it. Really, number one goal is just survive. Just survive. But that's the sniper's nest at Novo. We were up there last episode. I think it's the tallest. I think it's the tallest building in the game. So we need to loot and hunt as we go. We need to uh, stay alive from predators and other, other survivors who might want to kill us for no reason other than they're jacked up on Mountain Dew and Pop-Tarts because I'm a nice guy. I don't want to kill anybody. Daisy's nice. She doesn't want to kill anybody. All right. I don't remember what I have for food exactly. I think I got a few. Yeah, oh, I caught those fish. That's right. So we got some fish. So we don't really need to spend a lot of time in here. And it is a fairly dangerous city. Uh, I do want to see what my water status is. I got a bottle of water full. Okay, let's eat this now. All right, so we'll uh, maybe peek in a couple buildings on the edge of town, but we don't need to spend much time on this at all. Thinking about getting a Series X soon. Let me know what you Series X owners uh, think of it. Only got seven bullets. Okay, let's go. Oh, I got a couple zombies here. Might have got in over my head. I think I'm okay. Ah, I got missed. Oh, and I'm bleeding. Okay, what do I got for rags? I got a bandage there. Can I bandage before this guy gets to me? Good thing I got those rags. And I think those other thing of rags, the torn ones I have, I think are disinfected. If they're not, I got to disinfect them. Disinfected. Okay, so we're okay on... On that stuff. I might have to use my fist so I don't ruin my hatchet. I do want to check. I feel like that zombie's on to me, but she's taking a while. Sometimes I find vitamins. Okay, yeah, she's definitely... We're going to duke this out right here. Look at the sniper's nest in the background. That's so cool. Oh, dang. Okay. Do I have brass knuckles? I don't. That's Lucky. Lucky's got brass knuckles. All right, let's check this right here for um, any vitamins. Oh, no vitamins. Let's check this right here. Duct tape. Do I have some already? Let me check. Um, I got two rolls of duct tape. My gear looks good. Okay, wind picked up, man. It almost looks like there's dust in the air, but I don't think so. That church should be right behind those boulders, I think. I like this spot. One of my favorite spots in the game. I almost would put it as a wonder of the world, but I get it. It's just an honorable mention. In the fairgrounds at Sverigrad, I would put 
If I was making my favorite places, but I get it honorable mention as well, not one of the seven. And the seven were still forming. No zombies. Look at that view, man. Look at that. Beautiful. Oh, shoot. Hello, survivor. Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Nice, nice, nice. All right, here we go. Um, cool. Hey, do you need anything? You need food? You need anything at all? He just... Dude, he just ghosted me. There's a dead zombie up there. Oh, look. Look in the window. Dude, where did he go? This guy's good at hiding. I don't think he's a th everyone's a threat, but I don't think he's specifically a threat. Nice! Nice! I think he left it here on purpose. Okay, I'm nervous, so I don't know. I'm taking too long to drop stuff. Well, I guess we take it and get out of here. Dang! <laughs> Nice. See, I could have shot him. I guess I could have shot him and gotten it. Look at that view, though. I don't want to look at it too much, but I could have shot him and taken it. But I was nice. I think he left it on purpose. All right. Well, let's... I kind of forgot where... Oh, there he is. Okay. We'll let him go. I don't know if I stole this or if he left it for me on purpose. <laughs> I don't know how to spy on people. He's just chilling there. Well, I think I'm going to leave it alone. <laughs> All right, I'm going to leave it alone. At least I know where he is, so we're getting out of here. We will take the crossbow and go. He didn't go back in there. I did leave a rifle, so we can call it a trade. I got a shotgun with like one more round. I got this with eight rounds. I kind of want to get out of the area here. Let's hide behind this bush, this tree. Let's see what we got. Oh, it's got a bolt on it. Okay. So that's cool. Let's put this in our wheelhouse instead of the hatchet I guess I don't know awesome yeah I was gonna say instead of the compass but I think we need yeah all right well let's try to get to Sfregino if we just follow the outskirts of the city I should have left him like a piece of fish or something well, the server is going to restart in five minutes. So, I should make some more bolts. Do I have a sharpening stone? I got to sharpen my axe. 
I need to be looting. Oh, I do have two more bullets for the IJ. I don't have a sharpening stone for the axe, but I don't want to get my hands bloody either. Damage. Let's... I don't want firewood, I just want sticks. Make some more bolts. Now I want some feathers. Okay. Actually, I gotta sharpen them now. Craft bolt. We'll craft these bolts and then I'll log off till the server resets. And be back with a more daisy in daisy. Dude, that was crazy. That was cool. Got a few bolts. Nice. Alright. No, I don't wanna lie down. I think I wanna sit. We're gonna do this, let's at least get kind of a view. Oh there we can see the see the sniper's nest. I'm thinking way too much about this. All right, I'm gonna exit. Dude, got the crossbow, that was wild. I don't know if they put it on accident and panic ran, and then I swooped it up, or if they meant to give it to me. Either way, we were both cordial and kind enough for Daisy. Okay, the server has been successfully reset. So we're gonna head to um, the fairgrounds, maybe go on some rides. That was such a cool interaction. I love Daisy. And on my join members channel, we always have a Daisy therapy going for the join members. Um, I met a survivor in Ferrazino, and I was a freshie. And uh, I said, what's up, man? You got any chicken? <laughs> the guy dropped me some chicken. Sometimes, if you're just nice, they give you a piece of chicken. Sometimes they give you a bullet in the face. You can sort of tell by looking at them, though. It's weird. Like, in real life, you can tell a lot from someone's body language. Like, this dude's sketchy or this dude's, uh, you know, on something or whatever. Whatever. But... In day Z, you can sort of tell too, which is crazy. I kind of want to shoot some zombies with this crossbow. Start with that guy. This is such a day Z moment there. Look at the buildings, the graphics, it's so funny. That zombie waddling. Okay. There we go. The sound is very satisfying. Okay, so. Cool. So yeah, Novo kind of sprawls out to the west. And Sfregino's the next town over. So let's see if we can get over there. I don't have my map open. I should, but I feel like I'm familiar enough with it. I'd like to hit some of the edges of this town here and maybe find a sharpening stone or a new a hatchet or a knife. I need a blade. I don't have a good blade. And that one's damaged, probably badly damaged now after smacking that zombie with it. Pitchfork. That's pretty cool. Here is zombie. This, I mean, it can be used as a cutting tool in a, in a, if you're in a tough spot, so I'll take it. I don't think I can sharpen sticks with it. Dude, I love this backpack. I think this is officially my favorite backpack in the game now. We'll empty this out and keep it. I wonder when they're going to fix that glitch. I hope never. This is my favorite backpack. What's it even called? Combat Backpack. Yeah, I love it. Uh, let's eat some fish. 
We do have the bones. We can cut a cut into a blade with that. Again, I don't know if that type of blade will sharpen sticks. It probably will. Look at this little guard tower or guard room over there. I love this series, man. Look at the walls. They're cool. I mean, not, not style anymore, but maybe in the 80s. I, I had like a flannel patterned couch when I was a kid. I would watch TV and pick my nose on it. Pipe? I mean, nah. Thought about it. Just for a melee weapon. Some zombies over here. Oh, three of them. Okay, got to be kind of careful here. What? Hit him in the butt. Dude, the crossbow is nice. Dang it. Don't even have to headshot them. That's so nice. That one might be ruined. Oh, and there's the one that I missed. Nice. Hope I can pick it up. Nice. All right, let's head to that fairground. Maybe get that chicken on the way. Get the feathers, heck yeah. Make these things fly farther and better. Ooh, neck, neck shot. Is it broken? That one might be ruined. See. Pristine. The game is more fun with a crossbow. Anything by this tree? No. He's right up here somewhere. Oh, I see him. Got it. Nice. Ha. <laughs> okay. Um, let's do this with this. Not happy about it, but it's okay. We mostly want the feathers. The meat is good, but the feathers are really what we're after. Might as well take the bones. Okay. Now I need some more bolts, I think. Need more bolts. Okay, um, let's get my screwdriver. Wonder if I can stealth kill with the screwdriver. I bet I can. Yeah, yeah the screwdriver's nice, man. Oh shoot, I thought that was a player. Okay, I'm gonna say, man, we already had encountered a player today. I guess I can't. I wanted to gather a stick. I hope I don't get bloody hands.
Just hang out there for a minute. He's kind of stuck. Yeah, this hatchet's gonna, gonna go bad. It's okay though. Nice. Get the fetters. That other boat, that other bolt must be ruined. Dude, that guy's just walking right there. Okay. We'll get it when we're good and ready. It's gotta be the dumbest zombie in the whole game right there. And a can of beans. I almost didn't check. Mostly looking for a sharpening stone. So we're not gonna check everything, we're gonna keep moving. Sometimes there's sodas in these over here. Oh, uh, tomato. Dry it out. Make sure it's not rotten. We're good. Let's eat it now. And keep cruising the apocalypse, man. Having some fun. That was nasty. Some fruit. Grab that. Yeah, fun concept here. Seven Daisy, Wonders of the World. I like having open world games like this where you can make your own story. I don't have to play through someone else's story. So we always get some sort of goal. If you have an idea for a goal in the future, put it in the comments. Like, dude, you should do this or that. All right, I think we're getting to the edge of the town. The night is descending. Be nice to reach the fairground. I don't see any fruit. Yeah, we're just gonna check sheds. I think I'm gonna skip houses. I got decent food. Huh, a saw, I'm almost tempted. I'm not going to take it. I just want to drop my bad bolt. Because I am getting a little... I got space, okay. Cool. And I think as you shoot the bolts and pick them up, it doesn't stack them automatically. So you can end up using up a lot of your inventory space. Like if you shoot four bolts and pick them up, that's four times three. It's gonna take up 12 spots unless you go stack them, like combine them. Okay, I might take a glance at the map while we're here. Okay. That was gonna say there should be water. There's water. Cool, all right, we should be able to follow this. Next town should be Sfregino. Ready to ride the bumper cars. Got my tokens. In the comments, um, as a kid, what was your favorite, like, ride at Disneyland or your fairgrounds? What was your favorite thing? As a little kid, I had bumper cars because it was cool to drive. Now that I'm an adult, I don't care about fast spinning. Definitely no spinning. Roller coasters, meh. I do like things that go high, though. I'm freaking scared, don't get me wrong, but, like... I haven't been to one in a while, but like Superman at, was it, Magic Mountain, where you just go really high and it drops you. Oh yeah, I heard something funny. Could go for some hunting pants or something. 
camo pants. We'll hit some... I mean, we're supposed to hit Tizzy and Northwest Airfield. Those will be challenges, man. Even just without other players, just the zombies alone can pile up. Right, that might be Sfregino already. Street sign, not sure. Yeah, but we just passed that lake. Oh, there's the dam. Okay. Yep. Yep, yep. It's we're right there, man. Right by those trees should be the fairgrounds. How do they deep fry ice cream? Has anyone ever had that? I've never had that. I don't understand it. Sharpening stone. That dude was just standing in the church, man. It was nice he gave the wave, never put a weapon in his hand. Ah. Nice view. Right there, I mean, again, underrated view in Daisy. The dam at Sergino. The big lake. We were kind of discussing in uh, other other playthroughs what is the biggest lake. This one's pretty big. There's that lake up by Tizzy that's pretty big. Uh, Black Lake, right, is bigger than Willow Lake, the one to the north in the, in the east coast. What is the biggest lake? If you know, let me know. All right. There, there can be a lot of zombies through here. I'm gonna try to ignore them for now. Dude, having the crossbow is nice. Just don't even need to hit the head. Another chicken. But we have more feathers than I know what to do with right now. Always good to have food. And I think I still have the stove top that is intact. Yep, there's the fairgrounds right there. Oh, the bumper's not wanting to work. There we go. We are in sight. Pink hat? Oh, do we go pink hat? Let's see how I feel about this. Nah, if it was the one with the uh, with the rifle on it, maybe. But nah, we'll stay to the purple team. Getting excited about the fair. Oh, nice, nice, nice. We needed that. Big time. And I think this is still good to cook. So, badly damaged. We got one more good cook out of it, probably. So, we should get that chicken on our way in here. Probably in that field across the street. Oh, shoot. Okay, okay, all right. We got kind of a lot. Let's deal with this one. Okay, missed. Okay. Buddy. Good trash talking, right? He's got a flashlight. Concerned I don't hear that chicken anymore. Okay.
Dude, did you hear fighting? Oh, there's the chicken. Okay. Do I have another? I don't. Okay. I thought I heard someone like punching a zombie. food takes up four spaces and hardly gives you anything but it's food right, let's go get that guy All right, I still haven't like found a good weapon for killing these things let's try this one shot with the screwdriver or no? Nope. Should give me four pieces of meat. I think the roosters give you four. Okay, we got a lot of food to cook up. Time to get to the fair. Next episode, I'm thinking we go see uh, Castle or two and keep making our way west to the platforms of Tizzy. Riffy is likely to be the last one. We tried to get all the gear together. The guys did a great job. I could have gone in alone, I think, with what we had, but it'd be fun to go in with a few guys. That'd be fun. All right, here we are. Honorable mention for Seven Wonders of the World. I love this place. I think if I had my personal seven, this would be on it. It's just so unique and cool. Look at this, this is awesome. You got this ride, goes up and down and spins in circles. A little broken. Oh, we got some fireworks. How many spaces does that take? 16, we might have to figure that out. We might have to figure it out. You got these rides, I've been on those as a kid. Bumper cars, my favorite. And these actually kind of move. I thought they did. Like, go, you hear the chains rattling. Yeah, oh, 12 gauge, nice, I have a 12 gauge. Here's the bumper cars. Code. He's got the teenager hanging off that thing. The bar, you know, to get you all squared away. A rifle scope, hunting scope. I'm not going to take it. Not my style. I'm going shotgun, handgun, crossbow. Cool. Well, I think we cook next time. I think we end the episode with some fireworks. Is there a way to get up on that roof? I wonder. I have to watch from a safe location. I don't think there's a ladder to the roof there. That's okay. Gonna have a little fun. Let's see, how do you light it? Do I have. Might not have the matches to light it. Okay. No matches.
Go out with a bang. We'll hang out right in there and watch. Dude, I might be able to put that scope on this crossbow. I have to go grab that. Where did I see that scope? Oh, I know where I saw it. I see a scope section. That would be nasty. Yeah. Crossbow scope, yeah. I think it'll work. Inventory's kind of jacked up. We'll worry about that in a minute. Let's celebrate and go out in this episode with a bang. And my inventory is getting unmanageable. I need to eat some food and go through some things. It might be starting to rain. Yes, it is. night. Here we go. Not a good idea. Do not recommend you try this at home. Oh, dang. I didn't know it would be that quick. I should have grabbed my axe. celebrate life when you can. Lost my hatchet, but that's life. It was worth it for this moment of joy. Going out with a bang. Daisy, Seven Wonders of the World. And we're out. If you enjoyed this video, consider hitting that join button and joining my inner circle. You'll get a lot of exclusive content.